The fabulous resort of Oladenis is only a few miles away from Fetier. Fetier was named after this guy, Feti Bey, who was the first pilot in Turkey. So it's ironic that Oladenis has become the best paragliding centre in the world. next to a pretty koi carp pond which has got a few carp in it as well and where would you think this is some nice hotel somewhere in you know the French Alps no this is on the top of Bobadar mountain about 2,000 meters up and it's become one of the most important flying centers in Turkey and probably in the world it's unbelievable how it's changed and they've got beautiful facilities lovely restaurant over here there's the cable car, which is not quite finished yet, but it won't be long. Pretty much guaranteed everyday paragliding here from dawn till dusk, summer and winter. That really is an amazing view. And there are several takeoff piece from every wind direction. to show you what it's really like I've got to actually fly it's exciting or is it scary <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> is amazing. Once you get up in the air, you realize that it's actually a beautiful, surreal feeling to fly like a bird.
Also, my pilot today is Shenner. I didn't saw you some later. Erdal. Shenner Erdal. He's been flying for 12 years. To be able to fly above a beautiful blue lagoon and then land on the beach is just incredible. I used to fly solo years ago and I, I always loved it. And to be able to do this while you're on holiday, it's just great. It's that easy! <laughs> Super, yeah. So, if you want to go paragliding here in Ola Denise, just do it. It's amazing. It's one of the best things you'll do in your life, and the view is just stunning. And you'll never forget it, and you'll be talking about it for the rest of your lives. Of course, what's important to paragliders is mostly the takeoff place the weather and the landing place and you really couldn't get a better landing place than on the beach at Ulla Denise. The organisation here is amazing. It's really well controlled as well. There's about 30 agencies here and over 150 professional tandem pilots. And of course, if you're just a spectator, you can sit in a bar and watch them all flying in. So whether you want to go on your first tandem flight, you're a professional solo flyer, or just want to learn to paraglide, this is a great place. You know. To be honest, for family flying, this is one of the best places in the world. Yeah. So yeah. you bring your family on holiday here. Yeah. You're flying. Lovely hotels. Hotels. Nice good restaurant. Food. Of course, Ola Denise is famous for its beautiful blue lagoon. So when you're not paragliding, there's plenty of other things to do here like the amazing boat trips that go to Camel Bay and the famous Butterfly Valley, of course. There's some great nightlife here too.
don't forget the new restaurant on the top of the mountain is serving till nine o'clock if you can get transport up there. And it's really nice to come up here and have a meal at 1700 meters. And they even give you a nice little poncho because it gets a bit chilly up here. Apart from the flying, there's the beach, the hotels, the restaurants, the bars, the nightlife. It really is an amazing place. I'm Mick Amger. Follow me on Facebook or please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Likia Nusunda, the Yamach Vaza. Oh, down it's Tim and I shake. Archie Nitsi in the git tip. Tom, yeah. Hey, Kes did it. Nere git git your summi come to your diddle, eh? Then did him shake. Zaytin toplame git your. I'm a Zara Omudu. Sajikanat, but as to come the Yaprak line it's in there.